All right, so it is horror night, and yes, your eyes are seeing it correctly. I went to see the Flash movie yesterday. Now, my reasons for going was a because of Michael Keaton being back as Batman, which yes, spoiler warning, he was the best part of the whole movie. I just want to go on the record to say uh, I didn't want to go in the movie just literally bashing, regardless of the Isa Miller situation, but. The years that have been going on and on about a Flash movie up until now, and then his legal issues, I wasn't interested in this movie 100%. This is the first DC movie I've gone to see in theaters since Wonder Woman, believe it or not, before COVID, and now it's like, spoiler warning on Wonder Woman a little. Um, this was okay, but I think this is going to be tailor-made for kids. And yes, as a fan of Michael Keane, I did go for that reason alone, only spend seven bucks, but... Overall, I didn't really enjoy the movie. I might talk about it in, in deeper if I do get the Blu-ray. We'll see what happens in a year or two down the road on that one. But to know that they already have a script made for a sequel, it's like, yeah, no freaking crap. It's like we know that they would because it's Hollywood and they always have multiple scripts for everything, crappy as they can be. The only thing I want to put out there is a quick um, note is I want to see a Batman Beyond movie actually happen with maybe, maybe Michelle Pfeiffer back. I'd like to find out maybe they had kids to, uh, or something, you know? I'd like them to continue the story I remember. So, i already gone into it a little longer than I need to do. So, if you haven't seen the movie, I'd say check it out if you're a hardcore DC fan. I did it because I a uh, loyalty for some of the past that I wanted to see. But it's a little too late, too much too late here, I'm sorry. So, I do recommend checking it out again if you're a hardcore fan. But it just wasn't enough for me, i got to be honest. I don't care if this makes money or not. 